All right, all right. So I have the continents of Pyria and Pentala in Minecraft. I could just end there and call it finished, but that's no fun. So it's time to populate our continents with towns and landmarks from Wings of Fire. Before I start, I want to quickly mention that I made some slight changes to the map. More mountains, more ocean plants, more or less acacia trees on Pentala. So the next question is, where do we start? What landmarks should we build first? Well, I think we should start at the beginning. By that I mean the Dragonet Prophecy. The first location in Book 1 is the cave the Dragonets grow up in. For all the builds I do, I'll be using information from the book, graphic novel, and wiki. Let's get to building. Alright, so if the thing I saw is correct, cave should be somewhere in this area. Let's go with this one. This one seems to be sort of in the area where it should be. So, we've already got a nice little cave here. And we'll just start by, I guess, digging a hole. I might need a bit more of a plan. <laughs> I'm going to look at what the um, graphic novel shows. I'm not exactly sure exactly what is what, but that's why I get to be creative, so. A big boulder is gonna be here. This is where the cave is gonna, the entrance. I'm just gonna use my magical wooden ax to clear out a space to start working and what? Alright, I have everything, <laughs> but we're all on here. Alright, so after lots of crashing, I finally got it. So now we can set air. Oh, and do it again, and again, because that is a lot of gravel. I might make it a bit bigger. So I'm not the best at making natural looking things, but I We'll try. I want to make sure this all looks natural. So I'm just sort of semi-randomly um, going to be placing and removing blocks along the walls and stuff. So we have this opening cave. Okay, so we have the river sort of down here. You know what? How about I use... where is it? TNT. And this is looking pretty good now. Our underwater cave. Or under, <laughs> underground water. Underwater lake. Or, I'm getting so confused here. Our underground river. Um, now we need to make some more caves. So we're gonna go ahead, branch this way a little. Not what I intended, but okay. Um, this is not very efficient. So forget the TNT, forget it. No more TNT. We're just gonna be breaking blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and go a little deeper here as well. And oh, more gravel. Gravel. Um, yeah, there we go, okay. I'll just take this to this, set air, and stack, uh, stack, let's do 10 me, okay, 15 me, alright, that seems good, make it look like it was not built, which is not easy in a game where you place blocks. We'll make it happen. This, I'm gonna come back to this, but now we're gonna make the uh, Dragonet's Cave. This is going to be the room where they sleep. I'm going to just leave it at this for now. And I'll come back and decorate it and add lights and stuff um, later. So this is what we have for now. Okay, well, let me mark this real quick so I know. I don't forget what this is.
little bigger because we have another room right here. All right, we're gonna use this thing again. I keep forgetting to use it, but we are gonna do that. This is gonna be our library. It's probably not where it actually is. But that's what it's gonna be. Okay. There are actually two sleeping caves. So we have this sleeping cave, and this is sleeping cave number two. Alright. So now, we're gonna make a study room. Um, I need to make sure. does not interfere with the sleeping room here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just come in here and sort of make some random shapes with our with my wand here. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, start adding the little things that make it look more natural. You know, in the corners, you know, these arches and stuff. Alright, this looks much better, doesn't it? And now it looks great. This is the study cave. What else? We have a battle arena. Um, that's gonna be right here. Yes, that's gonna be right here. All right, so it all looks kind of weird right now, but just just trust me, it's gonna look great eventually. Just sort of. Ugh, crap. So the battle arena is gonna be a little bit big because we need lots of space here. So, it already looks pretty natural, so I'm gonna leave it. Alright, and then this hallway needs to be changed up a little bit. I forgot the Miner's Cave, which is gonna be over here. So... Let's see, I'm trying to think. And I have it sort of... Put the wall here. This is, this is all right. This is gonna be the guardian's cave. There we go. Now, um, we need to make this look less squarish and more um, like an actual, you know, cave, sphere, stone. This looks much more natural. Still needs some work here and there. But overall, this is better. The river actually goes into here. Um, I need to block that up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill our thing here with water using some world egg. Replace air with water. And just like that, we have a river. All right, so now it's starting to look pretty good. We have Guardian's Cave, the Sleeping Cave, the other Sleeping Cave, Stay Cave, and Battle Area. And it all looks pretty good. So that's good. So I am now going to just continue um, with the river because that needs to be done now. All right, then I am just gonna go ahead and um, use some command and stuff to. Um, Make the rest of this cave water. And then the rest, I'm going to just quickly fill in manually. And look at that, we have our river now. 
Perfect. Lovely. So now that we have the river, it is time to decorate. And I'm gonna start with lighting because it is um, very important that I can see stuff. <laughs> and because this is a cave, I'm just gonna use torches. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> All right, I didn't think that would actually work, but it does. So we're gonna... Yeah, so what I'm doing here is I'm just placing torches and then I'm using an item frame to hold a stone slab in place. So it kind of looks like it's holding the torch, which is kind of neat. I just realized I forgot to put a staircase here. There should be a staircase, so I'm gonna have to add that in. All right, so they're all lit up now, and then I'm just going to all the torches. So, um, next I'm gonna quickly add a staircase here. Alright, so now we have a little staircase here. Um, and now, um, I'm gonna go into each of these caves and, um, add stuff. For this sleeping cave here, um, we are going to go ahead and we're gonna split them up into, because there are five, we're gonna split them up to three and two. So I think, I'm thinking we'll do... This will be the three, this will be the two, because this one... Well, actually, no, this one's smaller. So we'll have... Sunny here... And Tsunami here... And Glory... Right here. And then up here... We'll have... Starflight and Clay. So I'm gonna start down here. For Sunny, how about we do sandstone? Lots we'll of nice sandstone. Um, and then um, we'll do we'll have lanterns. Tsunami. 
the crit marine. And water. here and call it a day. Just like that. With some light. Let me turn on my thing. And that'll do. Probably could do a lot better. I'm not really sure what else I could do. If you have suggestions, please, please share them. Study cave. Uh, we need a big hole here, dig all the way up to here. Now, um, we'll put another table here, because, I don't know, but we're gonna put a table here. We're gonna need more scrolls, just sort of all of them. Lots of scrolls. Um, we'll put like a rug in the center. Uh, it's too close to the stone. Let's do... Put a red carpet. much left how it is. Alright, for the Guardian's Cave. Let's see, what do I want to do for the Guardian's Cave? So up here we'll have Kestrel. Nice and high, like the sky wings like to be, because they're sky wings. Um, and then down here, webs, obviously. And Doom can be over here with more sandstone. All right. So, um, it's not the fanciest, but it's a cave, so it's fine. Um, so, we have the entrance to our cave. We have the big hallway, Guardian's Cave. We have Sleeping Cave number one, Sleeping Cave number two. Um, we've got the study cave, the battle area, and the river that goes all the way through here this is really a long tunnel to the river so that is pretty much all there is um i think it could definitely use some improvements but for right now um, i'm gonna leave it at that and that was the Dragonist Cave. Next time I'll be going north to build the Sky Palace. See you then.